I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. Today, while I was searching the waste, I came across the most excellent prize that anyone could ever hope to find in the wasteland. And I'm going to share it with you. No, it's not some can of old moldy generic pop. It's this. A complete box of pre-war Hostess Twinkies. These are a treat that were so good before the war, the company tried to stop manufacturing them and the people rose up against them and forced them back into production. These were a staple of anyone's diet back in the pre-war days. They ate these for every single meal. They are some sort of yellow sponge-like object filled with cream in the middle. From what I understand from others who have found these is that they never go bad. And taking a quick look at this list of ingredients on the back, you can see that clearly this would never be able to be reproduced under our wasteland conditions. 90% of the items on here, I don't even know what the words are or mean. They just look like letters mushed together. So, unless you can find these, then you're shit out of luck. The only problem is, they're such a hot commodity, everybody wants them. So I need to eat these as fast as possible before raiders find out that I have these things. I'd love to trade them, but you can't travel with merchandise this hot. No one's going to fence it. So, if you're lucky enough to have a box of these at home, or in your cave or wherever you're hiding out at, then you can play along. So, if you don't have a box, you could go try to find some so that you can play along. But if not, then just sit back and enjoy and watch me savor these wonderful treats and see how fast I can get rid of them. You have to let me know if you hear any raiders coming. So there's 10 of them in here. So if you're playing along, you're going to want to get 10 of them. Get yourself something to drink too. After a long haul in the wasteland, these may not be as fresh as they're supposed to be. Because even though people would lead me to believe that they don't expire, there's very clearly a date on here, and that date wasn't very long after these were manufactured, I'm thinking. So, these do go bad, contrary to popular belief. So, <clears throat> if you're ready, we're going to go ahead and start in three, two, one. Half. <clears throat> so if you're behind, you better catch up.
Oh god, my teeth hurt. with a bad choice. <clears throat> Something was like interacting between the two causing a problem. <clears throat> Fucking just do it. Right. And the Raiders might be coming. One more. They want to use for me or cut me open, eat the fuckers out of my stomach. They're all mine, all mine. <sighs> Last one. <clears throat> uh, all right. If you're still eating, you lose. If you're all done or you beat me, good for you. Ten Twinkies. Fast as we could. Those Raiders show up at my door now. Hey, fuck them. <clears throat> this is just an empty box. So... Let's take a second to talk about these. <clears throat> All right, so. As far as <clears throat> Twinkies. So that was 10 of these at 260 calories each. So. <clears throat> that's about as many calories as a grown person needs in a day. Plus some. Plus this pop, I should pretty much be on for the day. But um, as far as price, <clears throat> I want to say there's like two fifty or something. So like two fifty for ten, that's not too bad. Um, you know, we get about a quarter a piece. So not too shabby as far as price is concerned. As far as period. <clears throat> well, if you're playing post-apocalyptic or a zombie larp or something, yeah, these are probably great. Um, you know, excuse me, it's fucking disgusting. Uh, you can make jokes about, you know, zombie land movie and stuff like that because of the Twinkies and all that shit. So it's probably fun to have for that type of style of LARP. For medieval fantasy or something else, um, fucking forget about it. You know, these are, these are nothing even close to genre. Um, <clears throat> they would totally fit inside of like an ammo holder. So if you want to just have a Twinkie on hand, I think that'd actually probably be funny as hell. Um, if someone just carried Twinkies around on them, or if you made like a custom Twinkie holder, eh, maybe I'll do something like that. Um, personally, uh, I think these suck. I think they taste like shit. They're so fucking sweet. And, uh, <clears throat> like eating that many that fast, like my body, like they even, like after four or five of them, my body was like shutting down. I tried drinking this pop with them. It created some sort of like chemical reaction. It's like all fizzy and stuff. It was fucking crazy. When I look at these ingredients on the back, I mean, this <clears throat> this shit is just whack out uh, <clears throat> of sight. I mean, 
when you watch Die Hard, you know, and you watch the uh, cop explain to uh, McLean, you know, what's in them, he names like maybe like four or five ingredients, right? So that's the difference between back in the day and now, because this list is, is so fucking long, and, you know, I wasn't kidding when I don't recognize any of the words, so <clears throat> it's, it's pure shit. Um, but if you enjoy them, that's perfectly fine. Everyone has different tastes, you know. There's a lot of things I don't like. I don't like to eat squid, you know. Uh, I, don't, I don't like duck liver, you know. Uh, there's a lot of things I don't like. Uh, but if you do, then that's great. I don't personally care for this. I, if I was going to eat junk food, I'd pick something else. But for the aesthetic reasons, it's a fun little thing to have. I guess maybe in moderation, if you just ate one every now and then, it's not so bad. But, yeah, consuming a whole box, bad plan. <clears throat> so... Price-wise, good. Period-wise, it eh, depends on the LARP. Portability, they're in a little package. They're going to get crushed. If you keep it in a card container like this or make a holder for it, then you'll probably be fine to carry them around. And uh, the reality is these do have a Best Buy date. Uh, when I bought these, the Best Buy date was like the next month. So realistically, uh, <clears throat> theoretically, Twinkies do expire, and it's pretty fast. Um... However, that's a Best Buy date, not an expiration date, so they're two different things. This particular box I actually had for quite a while. I've been meaning to make this video for a long time, so this is actually expired by a couple months, or past the Best Buy uh, date by a while. But, you know, whatever. <clears throat> they still tasted perfectly fine, so I'm sure they probably do last a lot longer than people make them out to be. So, would I recommend this for a LARP food? You know, <clears throat> probably uh, if you're doing a post-apocalyptic or some sort of, you know, future-based LARP, if you're doing something sci-fi, these could be some sort of, like, weird little sci-fi concoction. I'd take them out of the wrappers and stuff and just, you know, maybe put them in an alternative wrapper of some kind. If you're doing a zombie LARP, yeah, totally fun is that sort of, like, tongue-in-cheek thing. If you're in, like, a real heavy, like, immersed LARP that, you know, isn't, you know, you know real good on comedy, uh, then, you know, probably not. But if you're in a sort of light-hearted, you know, zombie type of thing... <clears throat> then this would be fun to carry around, I think. Maybe just, like, one right in here, you know, for barter or whatever. I think that that would spark people's imaginations based on movies and stuff that they've seen them in, and, you know, it, it might create a fun fun little dynamic, you know, or not. You know, some LARPs, you know, aren't like that. <laughs> so you make the call based on your LARP. So I would probably uh, recommend them uh, for those type of LARPs, not for medieval fantasy. As far as the video, <clears throat> I hope you enjoy these. Um, I think I actually hate those pretty fucking quick, so not that I'm really you know, trying to be some sort of food challenge person because I actually eat really fucking slow, but um, I feel like I ate those pretty quick. So if you ate them faster than me, you know, leave a note in the comments. Um, I know you can't leave video comments, but if you have a channel or want to post a video, you know, upload a video of you eating these. I'd love to see it. I think it'd be you know, awesome. Um, you know, I make these mostly for fun, and I make these mostly for my own personal you know, sick gluttonous fantasies and amusement, but, uh, you know, if you're bored and, you know, you have any interest in, in <laughs> eating food, then, I mean, it might be something fun for you to play along with, and that's kind of why I do these, but, um, <clears throat> if you like the video, click like, subscribe to my channel, uh, but most importantly, let all your friends know that it's out there, even if they don't LARP, if they just game, or if they do cosplay, or they're just looking for tips on Halloween costumes, or they do, like, you know, school plays or something, whatever, a lot of the stuff I cover on this channel can be used, you know, across the board for many different things. It doesn't have to just be for LARPing. So just something to keep in mind. And uh, if you do want notification of whenever these videos come out, click the little bell by the subscribe button. If not, it won't tell you. Um, also on Twitter, now and then. Uh, I think I have a Facebook page that I neglect. I'm pretty sure I have an Instagram account that I neglect. I'm definitely on Snapchat. And I don't use that very often. So my social media game is pretty low right now. But still, if you want to join in on that stuff, I do put stuff on there every so often. And it's usually stuff that I don't put on the channel. So you can get a little bit of information faster than watching uh, for the videos. But uh, keep in mind the videos are weekly. So if nothing else, check back every week uh, for new content. And uh, I'm starting to get off this post-apocalyptic kick. Uh, so start to expect to see some more medieval fantasy stuff as those uh, LARPs start to come back into play now that it's going to be spring soon. And uh, <clears throat> if you have any requests, leave them in the comments. I'll put them on my to-do list, which is like 
this long. And one day I'll get to it, I promise. So, until next time, adventure on. I'm Max Sterling, and this is my channel. I work here with my old man and my son, Big Hoss. Everything in here has a story and a price. One thing I've learned after 21 years is that you never know what is going to come through that door. Smells like dog shit. What the fuck?